James Reed. During World War I, many soldiers were executed. The armies wanted to set examples to their troops. The men were shot for desertion, mutiny, cowardice, and even if it was caused by shell shock or other mental issues. After the war, all armies made their files on the ex executions top secret. Of course there are rumours, and in a few cases the truth came out, but only in these past few years has the archives been made fully available. In the First World War, over 200 men were court-martialed, and of those 200,000 men, only 20,000 20, were found guilty of offences carrying the death penalty, and of those 20,000, 3,000 actually received the death penalty in court, and of those 3,000, only 346 people have the death penalty carried out on them. James Reed was ranked a corporal in the Cameron Highlanders, 6th Battalion. He enlisted in 1906, and in 1914, he joined the British Expeditionary Force. In 1915, he was promoted to sergeant, and he was then convicted of theft in 1916, and when rejoining the army, he was sentenced to five years suspended sentence for desertion. Finally, in 1917, he was promoted to corporal, and then the trouble began. He was killed after two events of desertion and escaping from where he was being held in his first account of desertion. He died on the 11th of May, 1918, aged 26. He was buried in the Duisiat British Cemetery in Etrin, France. What's happening now? As a result of the political debates that had started in several countries after World War One. The files were released and the government decided to review the sentences they set for the men. And finally, England announced in 2000, August 2006 that it will formally pardon on moral grounds all soldiers who were shot by firing squads at dawn.